Hello again, friends. Dave McDonald here once again with you. I hope you're having fun drawing along with me during our quarantunes. <clears throat> it's where we draw cartoons with Dave McDonald. That's me. <laughs> we've been doing this for a while now as we've been kind of stuck at home doing our school learning, e-learning, online. But, uh, hopefully this has been a nice little break from everything else that's going on. I hope you're having fun. Okay, uh, let's see if you don't mind, if you can ask mom or dad to hit subscribe there on my YouTube channel. I love to get more subscribers, but again, I don't want you hitting the button. I'd like for you to get adult permission. Uh, that's something that I just like to keep. Uh, I want parents to know exactly what their kids and they're doing online. So if you're allowed to, you can go ahead and hit subscribe. Okay. With permission. All right. So lately, last few days, we've been developing some characters for our little story, Trouble in Breakfastville. Heart pounding egg excitement. <laughs> and so the first day we created a sheriff and his deputy. You'll remember this and you notice I've colored these since we drew them. Breakfast Bill, here's Sheriff Boylan Egg and his sizzling sidekick, Deputy Side of Bacon. <laughs> there they are. And then we talked about introducing conflict. Remember this yesterday? Dun, 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 dun. Special effects, conflict. That's when we add trouble, a problem an obstacle in the way. And here it is, Patty Butter. <laughs> Patty Butter, get it? Help, the little taters, they've been kidnapped. <laughs> there she is. And then yesterday we drew, oh my, cover your eyes if you're squeamish. <gasps> oh no, it's the villain. Oh, isn't he nasty? He's got the little taters dangling over the hot skillet of oil. Yep, it's the Wild Wild Whisk. Dun dun. Oh my word, that is trouble, that is conflict, right? We have trouble. So now we have to call into action our hero. So let's draw our hero once again, Sheriff uh, Boylan Egg, setting off to confront our villain. So with your pencil on your paper, we're gonna draw the sheriff, once again, he's an egg, so he's an oval shape, remember? So an oval shape like this. You notice I go around several times till I get the oval shape that I like. And remember, I ink my work when I'm done, so a lot of these pencil lines will, will go away. So he's, let's see, he's riding, he's riding a horse, except, hmm, it's not a normal horse. Remember, this is Breakfastville all things kitchen. So he's going to be riding on a spoon. That's right. Hi-ho, silver spoon, and away! <laughs> Get it? Hi-ho, silver spoon. So let's see, a spoon has a handle like this. Handle comes up, gets a little narrower, I suppose. And then at the end, it's a spoon. So it's going to have an oval at the end. So go ahead and some wacky spoon shape, all right? And the character's sitting on a saddle, so let's see. Let's just draw a little oval there, a little seat beneath him, and they've got on the saddle the saddle horn. You know what the saddle horn is for, right? Meep, meep. <laughs> No, it doesn't make a sound like that, but it is called the saddle horn. And he's going to be, <laughs> again, I crack myself up. <laughs> he's wearing a hat. He's in profile. In fact, his nose will be right there. So his hat, we see the side of his hat going like this. And then it kind of goes up. It's big and it might have a fancy band on it. And he's pretty serious about his ride. So he's got 
He's got his eyebrows, his eyelids down. Let's see. Is he going to be cool as a cucumber? Or is he going to be... Let's, let's make him speaking. So we'll open up his mouth. So drop down from the nose and open up his mouth with the letter C. All right? And if you want, you can put the tongue at the bottom. And you'll see how that looks when we ink it. All right. He will be speaking. He's going to say, hi-ho, silver spoon away. So you know when I create dialogue or word balloons, I like to give myself some lines that go straight across there. And we'll write those in later with ink. I won't take the time now. Okay, a horse head on a spoon. I'm going to kind of warp this spoon or make it a little more... a little heavier on the right than it is the left. I'm not going to make it perfectly oval just because I'm turning it into a horse. So a couple triangles on the top of the head. Right? Maybe some hair. Oh, he's got a mane that's flying in the wind like this. And even the horse is serious. Let's do this. Give him a, he's got a muzzle here, but that's part of the reins. Let's say our character here is holding the reins. See how I'm just kind of creating lines. I'm not really getting too detailed here at this point but he will be holding the reins. And his arm is an elbow macaroni, right? Maybe he's wearing gloves. Ooh. Cowboys, I think, probably wore gloves to protect their hands, right, when they were riding. All right, so that's basically... <laughs> Let's give our horse a smile. He's very happy. But he's very serious, all right? And then at the bottom, we'll create our little horizon line. Okay, let's get inking now. It's getting serious, right? Where's the pen that I want to start with? I guess I'll start with this one here. And we'll go up and do his hat. And that pen seems to be <clears throat> running out of ink. Let's see if this one's any better. Go slowly. All right. There's the band of his hat. We can do some cross hatching. Maybe I'll just go one direction with that. All right. Our exciting or exciting hero. Again, I'm just tracing. Oh, look at all these simple shapes I use when I draw. How many ovals do I need to draw? <laughs> if I didn't have ovals, I couldn't draw, could I? <laughs> That's how many ovals I use when I draw. I love the ovals. A little nose. Okay, here we go. Open mouth, letter C. And inside, he's got that little, put that little curved line in the bottom of the mouth. And then fill in around that tongue and inside the mouth. He's shouting now, isn't he? He's serious. Okay, elbow macaroni for his arm. Right? Let's see here. He's got his glove. And thumb there. Okay. The horn of the saddle. Meep, meep. <laughs> got some stitching along of it, on the edge of it. Look at that, just some dotted lines makes it look like stitching. That's kind of cool, isn't it? 
All right, here we go with the spoon, the handle. Handle of the spoon. The rain. Have any of you ridden horses before? It's a lot of fun. I have been able to do it. Let's see here. Look at that. Oh, how about on our spoon? Don't they usually have these little decorations? Little curly decorations along the edge of the spoon. All right, here we go. Here. Here. Main. Is that the main part of the horse? <laughs> Look at this. We turned a spoon into a horse. More ovals for eyes. Tell me again why I leave these little white specks in the pupils, remember? That's right. Little hint of reflection. Yep. Adds a little life to your characters. And with this, we're just adding some little dashed lines. It just indicates a little bit of shadow, right? A little bit of shadow. Kind of fun to do there. All right. So now we've got some dialogue in that word balloon up here we have to make. He's saying, hi-ho. Silver spoon. And you notice I try to stay along my line so that my Lettering doesn't go uphill or downhill. These lines kind of keep me straight, although you'll notice sometimes I turn the paper to help myself give me a better angle on doing the lettering. Hey, hi ho, silver spoon, away! And then away, I want him, to, if he's shouting that, I might want to do that in thicker, thicker pen, right? Away! Look at that. There we go. Okay, now for a, let's see, maybe I'll do kind of a, almost a rectangle for a word balloon. Sometimes they're ovals or circles. This one I'm going to make kind of like a rectangle, kind of fits in that spot a little better, doesn't it? See, I did that with my pencil first, and then we ink it. I ho silver spoon away. Now he's on his way to help save those little taters, isn't he? Good versus bad story, right? We've created a character that represents good. That's the sheriff, right? And then we thought about conflict. We wanted to introduce trouble, a problem, something that would be an obstacle to someone. In this case, it's danger, right? Somebody's, somebody's lives are at stake here. So we have a character screaming for help, and then here comes our cowboy, sheriff. Boy, I wonder what he's gonna do when he confronts him. Have you thought of that? 
What kinds of things could happen when they meet? Those are the things we'll have to think about the next time we get together, right? What happens as a result? Boy, look at all those eraser crumbs. I could probably make a new eraser with all that. <laughs> okay, so there's our drawing. Although, let's see, let me add one little some detail here at the bottom. I forgot to do my little horizon line. And maybe I could put way in the background. Some of those buttes, is that what they're called? Did you look that up? Remember I asked if someone could look that up for me and see if that's what they were actually called. Buttes, that's what I think they're called. All right, maybe some spiky desert grass here, All right? Okay, well, there we have it. How did your hero come out riding his trusty steed, Silver Spoon, here in Breakfastville? <laughs> that was kind of fun, right? So hopefully you'll join me again, and we'll, we'll take this a little further the next time. All right? That was awesome. Good job. Good job. All right, until next time, stay safe, be well, and please take care of one another. All right, bye-bye.